everyone, I'm Natasha and today we are making child-friendly shower steamers for congestion and colds. Now let's start with a quick look at the materials you will need for the shower steamers for colds. Uh, all the materials are listed in greater detail in the description below, so please check that. So to start with, we have the backbone of our shower steamers, 150 grams of baking soda. Yes, just regular baking soda. <laughs> There's 120 grams of citric acid. I am using 20 grams of oil. I like to use some oil instead of so much witch hazel, witch hazel and alcohol because I find that easier to work with. I'm using extra virgin olive oil. You can use something like a sweet almond oil and this is optional, but I find it much easier to work with, as I said. You will also need two grams of essential oil. So two grams in this whole shower steamer recipe is well below the recommended 1% for safe usage in children. I think the best essential oil blend for colds and congestion for children is the Plant Therapy Sniffle Stop. It is in their Kid Safe line, developed in conjunction with Tisserand, who is a go-to expert on essential oil safety. If you do not have that blend, you can use a blend of lavender and eucalyptus oil. Uh, please check the description below for the weight in grams and the approximate number of drops. So I know eucalyptus is a little bit controversial for children. According to Tisserand, up to 0.5% is safe for use around children of eucalyptus. And I will link to that down below if you have any questions. You will also need a large dry clean bowl, a spoon or spatula. I like to use a mesh strainer, though it is not an absolute necessity. You will also need a spritz bottle of rubbing alcohol or witch hazel. I like to use rubbing alcohol. Your molds. I highly recommend using plastic molds for these shower steamers. It's very difficult to pack them into silicone molds. And I like using something with a flat back for the shower steamers so they can rest flat in the shower. So you can use half of a round bath bomb mold or any soap mold will work. And then you'll probably want something like a peach, piece of wax paper or parchment paper to protect your work surface and to help you collect uh, the little stray bits because making shower steamers can be a bit messy. And lastly, I'm going to be wearing a pair of nitrile gloves to protect my hands because I like getting very hands-on with my bath bombs and shower steamers and I have very sensitive skin. Skin. So I prefer to just go ahead and protect myself with a pair of gloves. All right, so let's get started. So to begin with, I like to go ahead and mix my oils together because I know I'm going to be using at least 20 grams of oil. If you are not using oil, skip this step. Just hang on to your essential oils to add later. I add the baking soda and citric acid through the mesh strainer just to keep any lumps out. Grab your spoon or spatula and mix together your dry ingredients. I love this little set of mini silicone spatulas I got on Amazon, super, super affordable. And I have a set that I use just for my homemade skincare products so they don't get contaminated with anything from food to keep everything nice and clean. Okay, like I said, I know I'm gonna be using these 20 grams of oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it in. It helps you add liquid to the shower steamers so that it binds the dry ingredients together without actually adding water that's gonna make these fizz up and more difficult to work with. I start mixing with my spatula, but I always end up going to my hands pretty quickly because I find it easier just to knead the oil in.
Okay, from here on out, we're gonna be working pretty quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and put my wax paper down. And get my mold ready. Because I'm going to start spritzing with alcohol. So spritz a little. And mix it in. If you're using witch hazel, it will start to really fizz up on you, which is why I recommend using 90% isopropyl alcohol or, this is going to sound crazy, Everclear. <laughs> Everclear is actually what I personally use because it's what I keep on hand for my cleaning products. Okay, so to test if it's done, we're going to pick it up, squeeze a handful. Okay, it held together. Now drop it. Oh. If it comes apart, it's not ready, it's not wet enough, and it's not gonna hold together well in the mold. So add a little more. Awesome. So once you get to that point where you can squeeze it, drop it in and it holds its shape pretty well, you are ready to begin packing your molds. Like I said, this does get a bit messy, so you're gonna want something to protect your work surface. Pack it on in there. All right, and there we have it. Now all there is to do is just to let these sit until they're fully dry. At least 12 hours is a good bet. I like to leave them for 24 before unmolding them and storing them in an airtight container to help them maintain their fizziness. For maximum freshness, do go ahead and use these within about one month to make sure they fizz and still smell nice. And to use your shower steamers, you just set them in an out of the way corner of the shower. And also if you want, you can place the shower steamer in like a little container, a plastic container if it's in the shower. And that way it'll keep any mess um, sort of contained.